Hello and good afternoon to my YouTube channel. It's been a while. I'm going to be doing astrology readings going forward starting with this month, May of 2022. I will be doing astrology readings for each sign every month and any extended readings for these will be uploaded on my Patreon channel. So if you're interested in the extended versions of any of my videos going forward after May of 2022, they will be on the tier which is on my Patreon. The link is in my bio below. So let's see what we have for you guys. This reading is for water signs for cancer. I am a Cancer as well. So we're using the deck that we're using right now is the Shaman Dream Deck. If you are a follower on my TikTok, you know that I will be giving away a brand new deck of this deck in when I reach 10,000 followers over there. If you would like to be included in that giveaway, go and look at my link tree below and it has all my social media links. So I'm going to lay out the cards for Cancer from the Shaman deck. And then we're going to lay out some cards from my Egyptian deck. And then we will get to your reading. As I'm talking to you, I'm channeling some information. Um, just so you know, I don't need the cards to do readings. I am a spirit medium, a conduit, an intuitive, etc. And any messages that come through will come through to me regardless of having these cards. I use these cards for symbolism for those of you who watch my lives on TikTok or my videos here or any of my other platforms. So let's see what messages we have for you today. So the first message I have is there's some obstacles that have been bothering you in your life in the last year and a half. Those obstacles are slowly starting to dissipate they're slowly starting to go away because of your hard work okay also too if you are new here if you hear the pitter patter of feet on the hardwood floor i do have two dogs so that is what you're hearing so there's some obstacles going on you still have some obstacles to push through and you're being very stubborn and impatient about those last few obstacles it's almost like you know you've done so much work you feel like you know it's your time you know to get past those and the universe is like this is the this is the time frame that's going to happen and you need to be patient okay it's very important that you hear that you, you need to be patient now this is the wall that's the obstacles that i'm referring to okay now the fates the universe your guides the angels all of them are here to give you messages okay they're reminding you that they are divinely guiding you you need to pay attention to the messages some of you are going to resonate with this like i do whenever you go for a ride in the car whenever you're going and doing anything and you look up at the sky it's almost comforting to look at the clouds and what's going on in the sky the universe is saying that they have your back, your guides have your back, specifically cancers. Remember to tap into your spirit guides and to your higher self, okay? Lost compass. Lost compass is about getting back to your integrity, setting boundaries with those around you. Um... It's almost like your direction. You feel like you have no direction right at this moment, but that's not true. You do have direction. You're just not trusting in your gut. You're not trusting in your path. It's really important that you realize that not everything is going to be explained to you while you're going through it. It's those moments we have when we go back to things and we're like, oh, well, that's what that means. You know what I mean? So that's what that means. So spirit is saying, no, you're not always going to have the answer to everything right when you want it. Now, the fortunes wheel is about the right timing. Everything happens in the right time frame, whether you want it to or not. Meaning what I just said, not everything is going to be uh, manifested in the time that you want it to. It's when it's meant to. 
So patience is very important right now. And we all know if you're a water sign, specifically cancer, we do not do well with patience. It's just a sad fact that's just true about water signs. Now, this other message here about the vanishing mirror is, mirror is about letting go of your ego. I'm going to show you what the card looks like. Look at this card. It's so stunning. The vanishing mirror is about getting rid of your ego. Cancer has been working really hard at letting go of their ego. But this is constantly something that you need to work on because of the way we're programmed when we're really young, the way that we're taught, etc. Okay, it's important that you realize that ego is attached to fear, insecurities, um, addictions, God complexes, etc. So ego is one of those things that it's okay to have, but you really have to really control it and work on it constantly. Uh, you know, you'll have mixed emotions when you watch videos where people are like, you need to release the ego completely and get rid of ego. That is not true. You need to still have it, but you need to really work on not letting your fears get to you, not letting your anxieties get to you, not letting things that are under the ego to get to you, okay? Now, change is around the corner. You have been going through change for quite a while now. The last few years have been tremendous change for cancers. Tremendous. But you still have a lot of change to, to happen. And it's not bad change. It's actually really, really positive change. And know that you are being guided through that change. Okay? Now, the Egyptian deck is a deck that I just love. Um, it is called, I forgot the name of it. It's, I think it's called Egyptian Paths. There's several messages that this symbolism means and that your spirit guides are bringing in cancers. First off, balancing both your light and dark, okay? Balancing both your female and male energy, okay? It's also about forgiving yourself for things that you could not control that happened in your life up until now. Now, what I mean by that is um, a lot of us hold on to that. We hold on to critical thinking towards ourselves. And what I mean by that is we're hard on ourselves. We blame ourselves for things that weren't necessarily our fault. And we also blame ourselves for situations with people where it was both fault and we take the blame. But you need to really balance both your female and male energy. And you are doing that, Cancers, but you really need to focus on that more. It's about accepting yourself for who you are. Okay? Now, the other message that keeps coming through is your alchemist part of you, your, your magical part of you, your intuitive healing part of you, the part of you that is your, your foundation, the part of you that makes you you, okay? The part of you that gives you wisdom and, and, and the part of you that really puts you in that medicine, woman, shaman, queen, king energy, right? It's about... It's about your wisdom. It's about your grace. It's about your power. I don't think cancers realize at this moment. Some of you may. Some of you that are light workers like me may understand this, but your power is within you. You just haven't really tapped into it much yet. These are a lot of cancers out there that know that they're powerful, but they just haven't accepted it yet because you're still working through those insecurities and the ego that we spoke of before. You are extremely powerful. Your ancestors are around you. Now, the master craftsman comes out in readings because it's the creator of form. It's about taking your thought patterns and your intuitive gifts, your energy, um, who you are, things that you might have buried within you because you were taught as a child that, you know, that's fruitless. You know, don't do that. You're not going to be successful. You know, don't pers pursue your dreams, kind of crushing your imagination, that kind of energy. 
if that's something you resonate with, spirit is telling you to tap back into that energy. Ground yourself. Do something creative. And what I mean by creative is not just artistic stuff. It's using your imagination and your, your intuitive energy to manifest things that you want to do. For instance, I consistently get when I do my private sessions, you know, people don't tap into that. And they may have been told as a child, you know, well, painting, that's not going to get you anywhere. Or writing, that's not going to get you anywhere. Or helping with, you know, something, I don't know, woodworking or metalworking or resin work or artists that combine mixed media. And you were told, you know, this is not going to go anywhere. You're not going to be able to make a living at it. Well, that's not what it's about. We are meant, our souls are meant to create. And in creating, we heal our energy. We share our energy. Think about it this way. One of the most famous artists, if they decided not to paint, there wouldn't be people walking around in museums and different art studios and art places or galleries or whatever they call them and looking at the art. So many people are very touched by art as well as writing. Think about your favorite writer. If they never decided to write, how it affected you and how it, it, it helped you through your life. Those, that's the energy that I'm getting right now. Okay. Now, I'm going to draw one more card, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue deeper into this reading, more into where what your path holds in the next six months. Um, if you are interested, you can click the link below to my Patreon, and you can subscribe to the $8 uh, tier to get the extended version of any of my videos on my YouTube going forward after May 2020, well, during May 2022. So... manifestation this is what i was just saying this is what's going to happen if you tap into that energy if you listen to what i just said spirit is saying your guides are saying you will manifest look how beautiful she is you will manifest isis is saying you will manifest things for yourself it will succeed it doesn't mean you're going to go into business i'm not saying that i'm saying that your art your creative side whatever it is you decide to do it's going to touch not only yourself, it's going to heal yourself and help you get that out into the universe, but it's also going to help others, okay? And the desert card is about your fire within you, your power to bring this to fruitation, to bring this part of you out. This part that I'm talking about right now, this part right here, your creative imagination, right? This part here, if you tap into this, your spirit guides are saying it will it will bring a fire within you to do other things that maybe you are uncomfortable doing or pursuing because of fear, because of what you were taught with these things. Okay, we're going to go deeper into this video on my Patreon. I will put the extended version on there um, and I hope that you'll come and visit. And if not, then this is where we go and say goodbye. I will be back in June with more videos of astrology readings and more. If you're interested, go click on my links below. See when I'm on live on TikTok as well as um, booking a session. My email is also in there. Have a wonderful day and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your month.